What's up, YouTube? Real quick, let me try to make this video for you guys, okay? The last video I made was like about like seven minutes and fifty seconds, so I'm gonna try to just talk a little bit faster, okay? Um, anything that you're looking for inside your car, obviously you can find it through Capro. If you're ever looking to data log, all you have to do is make sure that before anything, um, this is the wire that you have to plug in, obviously. Um, you make sure that you click your key over twice. It's plugging to your laptop. Anytime you need a data log, all you have to do is press the. I you know, made this arrow a little bit bigger. Press the record button. Um, also, you can find that somewhere over here. Where's the thing? A data log. It says data log, record, download from ECU, load, save, all the stuff that you get in one. And once you start, once you press the button record, right over here where it says graph, on this side you'll see the thing, the pulse meter going up and down. Okay. Let's see. Um, if I click on K Pro, where's K Pro? K Pro is anytime you get a anytime you get a map or you plug in your computer to someone's car that you're basically just started working on the car, um, you can press retrieve calibration. Once you retrieve the calibration, you can easily say, let's say, automatically store calibration right over here. You just click on this. So once you change the map in any single way, it'll just be able to store by itself. Okay, you retrieve the calibration, you see the map, you look at it, you can delete it, you can store it, whatever. Um, registered owner, calibration storage, whatever. Then that's Bluetooth, whatever. Um, this is K Pro 4, by the way. Um, let me see. Okay, this is parameters right here. Parameters usually has the most important stuff that you could look at, which is actually pretty cool and stuff like that. You have injector size right here. Okay, 1500. My, my, you can change it if you want. My boy had 1300. I was doing this on the other video. You can just change it. Once you're done changing it, all you have to do is just press right here. This will be lit up yellow. There's a up, there's a, there's a little arrow right here. You click on that and it'll basically upload. Before you start touching anything on this thing, make sure that you have a, your key clicked over twice and that this thunderbolt is actually on. You have to click on this thunderbolt. If you want to check if the thunderbolt's working, here, right here on the side where it says sensors, you click, you click where it says sensors over here. This will pop up this whole bar and then just hit your throttle. You'll see your TPS start to move. Okay. Also, you have, okay, so that's fuel injectors. You got rev limits. You can set your rev limit to 8,600, 9,000, 10,000, whatever you want to do in your car. Okay, protection. Um, cold boost cut. This is, I don't know, I don't remember. I don't know why it says one and stuff like that. If I'm correct, that's supposed to be different. Uh, which one call it? Hot temperature for your VTEC to kick in is 141. Uh, you can force your fan radiator to come on. Um, this one's set to 180. I would say the lowest you want you really want to go is maybe 170, 175. Overheating temperature is 220. That's what will pop up on your gauge. Illuminate your mill. Uh, I forgot what that is again. Uh, you can give yourself the error code if you want. It'll show it. Let me see. Fuel trim, close the boost control. That's all other stuff that I don't know. NOS one. I mean, nitrous one. Uh, idle. You can set your idle to whatever speed you want it, depending on whatever your tuner wants to do. You can disable it if you want. And also, you can control it through here. You can slide this manually, and this will actually adjust your idle. So if you have any idle issues, and you set it to like 1,200 RPMs, 1,000 RPMs, and the car's still acting a little iffy, and you just want to give it a little bit more throttle, just go to the right a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, throttle. I said on the other video, uh, TPS. Basically, um, hit the gas one time on your car while the car's off. Let it go. You press read right here. Then you click it, uh, you press your pedal all the way down. That'll give you wide open throttle. That's right over here. The range has to be within 100 over here. This guy has 2.4 to uh, 104.7. That's five. At, le at least it's over like, you know, it's basically over like 100 range. Nothing too crazy. VTEC, you can set your VTEC boundary. 5300 to 65. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. VTEC, oil pressure switch. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. You can go to your knock sensor. You can look, knock sensor enabled. You can disable if you want. Um, you got flex fuel. Let me see. Uh, the data and calibration. The idle and let me see injector size. Yeah, I meant to be the injector size. Fuel compensation. The stuff I don't know. Lean protection stuff like that. If I'm correct, when I'm let me see something because okay. Okay, so I was just looking at another map. I was wondering why this number looked weird. Cold boost cut. Uh, the, the other one that I had was cold boost cut was at 10. And then hot boost cut is at 15. Well, be, that's because this is actually a base map. I was looking. This is one of my friend's base maps and stuff. That which I'm going to call it. Um, these are all my other maps right here in the corner. Got a whole bunch of them from a whole bunch of different cars and stuff. But um, yeah. Uh, right over here where it says hot boost cut. Let's say if your car is doing 10 pounds, you can make it when your car is hot to cut at boost at 15 pounds only. And it'll stop. Um, if you're making 15 pounds, you can do your hot boost cut at 20. Uh, these are both set to 1 and 1. So, let me see. Rev limits. I think that's basically about it. And that's basically about like 4 minutes. So, that's a little bit better. Flex fuel, I don't know anything about. 
notes that you can take if you want. You can do error codes, which is right over here. Graph, display. Oh, this is what I want to show you. Okay, here we go. So this right here, let me just, we can do this. Cut, cut, okay, and cut. Right click, obviously, cut. Now, whatever you, whatever sensor that you want to put over here, you can easily do it by pressing right click, new value. Now, here's your RPM gauge. While this thing is lit up over here, this arrow, you'll see everything moving over here. Um, you can make it like this. Um, you can make it bar graph, which is like this, the RPM gauge. Um, you can make, well, a new clock is for your time. New image, well, no, an image is like taking a picture of it, I guess, I don't even know. New gauge is right here. So you have your choice to make it whichever way you want. Um, also, as big as you want, I mean, you can make it as broad like as you want. And anytime that you have to click on it, let me see something. It would tell you, um, if I'm correct, you can do this by, let me see if I want to change the sensor. Here we go. Ignition sensor, RPM, MAP, TPS, IAT, ECT, PA. It says vehicle, engine outputs. Look, all this, all these things right here that are in this thing, closed loop, all these things that you see right here are actually right here on the left side. This whole big list right here of all this stuff that's right here. There's so much stuff right there. But you get to choose whatever type of sensor that you want to make over here. Okay, and I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just trying to share some K-Pro information. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care, man. Have a good one.